And it's just a shame. This is really about, again, the Democrats, the left, destroying the family structure, um, destroying religion. I mean, look at the you know, took the religious symbols off the Easter eggs yeah. in the White House um, Easter egg hunt. It's just all about trying to destroy lim um, religion. And what do they want? They want the religion to be government. The annual Trans Day of Visibility, which is March 31st every single year, by the way, happened to fall on the same day as Easter Sunday this year. And because President Biden dared to acknowledge both, well, conservative snowflakes expectedly spent the entire weekend throwing temper tantrums. So yesterday at 5.45 a.m., Biden tweeted to all those gathering in churches and homes around the world today, Happy Easter. May God bless you and keep you. Then later at 9 a.m., Biden tweeted a graphic that says trans rights are human rights. And he adds on Transgender Day of Visibility, we celebrate the joy, strength and absolute courage of some of the bravest people I know. Today, we show millions of transgender and non-binary Americans that we see them, they belong, and they should be treated with dignity and respect. So it's not like he didn't acknowledge Easter. He acknowledged both. But conservatives were still outraged because, of course, they were. They're outraged about everything. Now, to be clear, their meltdown didn't start with those tweets. It started when he issued a proclamation on Friday acknowledging the Trans Day of Visibility. And he issued the same proclamation years before, but because it coincidentally happened to fall on the same day as Easter Sunday, which is a different Sunday every year, by the way, conservatives, I guess, expected him to just not acknowledge the Trans Day of Visibility. Now, even though he acknowledged both, he was still chastised for seemingly putting more effort into his tweet about the trans day of visibility for example the first reply that i saw came from nuance bro on twitter who writes only text you went into much more detail in this post and even added a picture we know what you value more and prioritize i'm sure he didn't write either of those tweets himself but i do hope that he prioritizes the trans day of visibility over easter because trans people are real whereas jesus and the easter bunny are not but fortunately for nuance bro uh he did get the pretty graphic that he was looking for but Biden posted this Easter graphic from his official POTUS account. He just had to look. So are you happy now, Nuance Bro? Do you feel seen and less oppressed? <laughs> Little did these conservatives know, Easter Sunday next year in 2025 falls on, wait for it, 420. So take from that what you will. But let's get to some responses from conservatives on Twitter because they feigned outrage over this when we all know that they actually don't care. For example, Speaker Mike Johnson writes, The White House has betrayed the central tenet of Easter, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ, banning sacred truth and tradition, while at the same time proclaiming Easter Sunday as Transgender Day is outrageous and abhorrent. The American people are taking note. Yeah, we are, but not for the reasons you think we are. Marjorie Taylor Greene chimed in because, of course, she would saying Biden and the Democrats decided Easter, the holy day of our Savior's resurrection, as transgender day of visibility. There is no length Biden and the Democrats won't go to to mock your faith and to thumb his nose at God. We know that Christ is king and God will not be mocked, just like we know Joe Biden isn't really the one calling the shots in the White House. Okay, so I guess he didn't write that tweet, so shut the fuck up. Lauren Boebert chimed in saying next year, Joe Biden can celebrate this so-called transgender day from his basement in Delaware. As for me and my house, we will celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords who conquered death, hell, and the grave. Actually, he didn't conquer hell because it still exists. Far-right grifter Laura Loomer shared a press release from Trump where he called Biden's acknowledgement of the Trans Day of Visibility blasphemy and called on Biden to apologize. Now, real quick, let's take a look at Trump's totally non-blasphemous Easter post. Quote, Happy Easter to all, including crooked and corrupt prosecutors and judges that are doing everything possible to interfere with the presidential election of 2024 and put me in prison. And of course, he goes on and on and on forever. But I mean, it seems like he's really centering himself and not Jesus. Now, you would think that he'd make this holiday about Jesus and not himself, since he's a huge fan of the Bible, apparently, selling $60 copies and whatnot, but uh, I guess not. Now, the dumbest and most disingenuous response came from none other than Caitlyn Jenner, who wrote, I am absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, a self-proclaimed devout Catholic as transgender day of visibility. The only thing you should be declaring on this day is he is risen. Actually, it's he has risen because risen 
is past tense. So if you say he is risen, how is he doing something that he already did? So it's he has risen. So make note of this because I see churches fucking this up all the time. Now, here's my favorite part about what Caitlyn Jenner uh, tweeted here. People quickly pointed out the fact that she herself celebrated the Trans Day of Visibility not that long ago. In fact, in 2017, she tweeted about it. And as Big Red Cell points out, this was before she decided that selling out to the right makes her more money. Exactly. And I mean, she has money, so I don't necessarily think that that's what it's about. I just think that she's a hack and wants to feel like she's part of some conservative community because economically she agrees with them. But the problem is that the people she's trying to appease don't respect her because anytime she says something that they agree with, they'll just misgender her and dead name her and say dead name has a point here. So they have no respect for her and she has no respect for herself. But I mean, I guess she's willing to throw all trans people under the bus for a group of conservatives who will never, ever accept her for who she is, no matter how much she debases herself to uh, to ingratiate herself with them. I mean, it's not working clearly, but I don't want to give you the impression that all of the outrage was just contained to Twitter because conservatives collectively screeched as loud as they possibly could across the country. For example, here is some expected dipshittery from Fox News. And so then we come out with this, you know, this proclamation on Easter. I understand that the, that the two dates are one moves, one doesn't. They fell on the same day. He's the first president to make the proclamation. He did it in 2021. He didn't have to. It's, I'm sorry, but people that live an alternative lifestyle shouldn't get the same dignity and respect from our government as those did on Friday that fought in Vietnam. Not everybody gets a day. That doesn't mean we don't like you or, or find you abhorrent. I don't know a, a Triple J day. I don't know a people from Georgia day or people that talk like a hillbilly day. And I think all those people should have all the respect in the world. So, you know, you see this coming as a leader and understand um, not everybody gets a day and not everything. He's turned Easter into a trans celebration in, in his tweets and comments. I just don't understand it. Yeah. Well, this is a clear effort and a coordinated effort to remove God from our society and to replace God with false gods. And in this instance, it's the trans community. Mm -hmm. They clearly want us to bow at the altar of the trans community instead of bow to God. And even if you don't believe in God, you should want to live in a society that does. First of all, go fuck yourself. Second of all, you should be the one who wants to live in a society with people who don't believe in God because people in less religious countries like Canada, Japan, and the Scandinavian countries generally have much better outcomes with regard to life expectancy, infant mortality, and other areas than the United States. On top of that, they also offer free healthcare to every single citizen at the point of service and to boot, they're happier on average than people in the United States. So you should be the one, based on things that matter, that should want to live in a country with people you disagree agree with based on religiosity. Now, when it comes to the first guy, I love what he said there because he said, you know, why isn't there days for other people with alternative lifestyles? Like, you know, people who talk like a hillbilly day. Now, the reason why there's a day for trans people is because people recognize that they've been subjected to persecution and violence for simply existing, whereas that's not the case for people who talk like hillbillies. Having said that, though, there actually is a National Hillbilly Day, and it happens to take place on July 4th every single year. Uh-oh, that happens to coincide with another prominent holiday, Independence Day. And uh, yeah, I wonder if we should all complain about the people who celebrate Hillbilly Day being unpatriotic. Yeah, so I mean, there are holidays for people who he purports to care about. It's just that he didn't care enough to bother to look. And he's just trying to do whataboutism, right? He's saying there should be a hillbilly day because he doesn't want there to be a transgender day. That's what this is about, basically. But I mean, people just care more about Trans Day of Visibility because trans people are being persecuted, whereas that's not the case for hillbillies. Hence why he didn't know about that because not enough people care. Now, there is a lot more bullshit from Fox News. Uh, they also think that Biden is doing other things to, I guess, attack God. Here's what they say. And David, now let's talk about this Easter egg roll at the White House, right? This is a tradition that goes far back. But right. kids now, they have this art contest, and these are the children of National Guard members. They're not allowed to have any religious symbols on the eggs for their artwork. So Biden took the religion out of Easter, except what they're referring to has been a standard practice 
for the White House for decades. This comes from Elizabeth Alexander, who is the White House deputy assistant to the president, who says the American Egg Board Flyer's standard non-discrimination language requesting artwork has been used for the last 45 years across all Democratic and Republican administrations for all White House Easter egg rolls, including previous administrations, meaning that Trump had the exact same fucking policy that Biden has used as well, but they're only accusing Biden of attacking or undermining God, as Brian Tyler Cohen points out. But of course, that didn't stop Fox News and dipshits like Trump Jr. from attacking Biden for it when his father did the exact same thing. So the question is, are they lying or just ignorant? I'd argue that it's probably a little bit of both, but let's hear from an actual pastor who's not a Christian nationalist that decided to weigh in on this entire conversation. Republicans are attacking President Biden for recognizing today as Transgender Day of Visibility. I want to be very clear that this day, this Transgender Day of Visibility, is always on March 31st, has been since 2009. This president has marked it every year since he's been in the White House. The date of Easter changes year to year. I don't need to tell you that. The House Speaker called uh, Biden's announcement abhorrent and said he betrayed the central tenet of Easter. What do you say to that? Well, apparently uh, the speaker finds trans people abhorrent. And uh, I, I think he ought to think about that. Uh, the fact of the matter is, as you said, March uh, 31st uh, has been a day to, to lift up transgender people who endure uh, violence uh, and bigotry. Easter, the date changes every single day. But this is just one more instance of folks who, who, have, who do not know how to lead us trying to divide us. And this is the opposite of the Christian faith. Jesus centered the marginalized. He centered the poor. And uh, in a moment like this, we need voices, particularly voices of faith, uh, who would use our faith not as a, a weapon uh, to beat other people down, but as a bridge to bring all of us together. Uh, that is what Martin Luther King Jr. did. And uh, I'm honored to preach from that pulpit every single day. You know, he might be a Democratic U.S. senator, but he's also an actual pastor who gave a literal sermon on Easter Sunday. So if you are religious, you might want to listen to people like him and not people like Mike Johnson, who's not following Jesus's socialist message. But in conclusion, I do find it really hard to believe Republicans are actually as outraged about this as they say they are. And I think that this is performative because they're just trying to find some reason to attack Biden and trans people. And this serves both purposes. So. That's why they're pretending to care about this. But here's what I'll say. When Easter Sunday rolls around next year on 420, they might actually be triggered when they realize that so few people are showing up to churches for Easter Sunday services because it's 420. So I look forward to their uh, tantrums then as well. Mom. I'm gay. 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 Gays. Gays. I'm transgender. 